Hi right, hello, I'm Anthony East. Uh, apologies for the voice, I've got a serious bout of man flu at the minute. Um, I'm just going to show you what happens if there's a, a power cut um, with a marine tank. This is a marine tank and sump setup. Um, one of the biggest fears is, is flooding because you can get a siphon from the main tank back down to the sump. So I'll just show you what happens when the power's cut and uh, what the, the little safety devices are. So under here we've got the sump. That's the return pump. Sending water out of the last chamber back up into the main tank which comes out through this spray bar in the middle. And it's that pump that if the power's cut Obviously that stops pumping up, the water falls back down due to gravity um, and that's how you get this siphon effect. So in a, the, the main tank could actually pull water through those holes in the spray bar and then back down into the sump and flood the sump. So you need to make sure there's enough room in here, in this part of the sump, to take this extra water from the pipes because obviously as it's running at the minute they're all full of water. So that's the normal operating height for the for the right hand weir. There's the left hand weir. And that's the normal operating height for the for the sump. I'll just lift the lid on the main tank just so I can show you the most important little hole. So that's the spray bar, you can see here, right on the water line, just there, is a hole. Now you can see water coming out of there at the minute, that is to stop the siphon. What happens is when the power's cut, instead of pushing water out of there, obviously the water stops. Because this pipe's full of water, it falls back down at the back of the tank. Now that wants to pull water out of the tank, so that hole there sucks air in, air gets into this bend, and cuts the siphon. Well that's the plan anyway, so I'll show you hopefully how it works. So what I'll do is I think remember aren't they that's the plug for the for the return return pump. So if you listen carefully I'll cut the power. Now you hear that straight away sucks air in. Um, and it stopped, stopped the siphon. So the weirs you'll see have started to drop down as the water's emptying out of the pipes they will drop down to the to the pipe level and that water is all falling down and you'll see the water level's rising in the sump. Now it'll probably take, I think I timed it once, it takes just under a minute for the whole system, I think it's 50 odd seconds um, for the whole system to drain down. See there now, the water level is at the bottom of the pipe. Same on that side. So that is basically that. So no flooding. Now if we put the power back on, I'll show you what happens. Then put the plug back in. Now you'll hear a few gurgles. That's as air's being pushed out of the pipes. If you look here, that's bubbling because the air inside that pipe now is being pushed out by the water. The weirs are filling back up again to their normal height. And the sump is dropping back down. To its normal level. And there you go. No priming or anything like that. The whole system just resets itself. Uh, the cabinet. So I hope that helps. If you need to know anything else, just holler. Thank you very much.